Ultimately, if we were any part of shaping the path for other female shows, for women who could be strong, who could be sensitive, who could make mistakes right, right. and who could still kick some bleep, um, then I think we're just honored to have been a part of that progression and I'm glad that we're still part of that yeah. discussion. For me, it was it was amazing to have two stunt doubles at the same time because there's so much going on all at once. You're learning your lines, you're learning these stunts, and so I could have one preparing and I could have another one that yeah. sat with me and helped me and got ready. And so I felt like I hit the jackpot when I got two stunt and doubles. And she learned choreography <laughs> faster than I did. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's true. <laughs> I think what people don't realize about an actor and their stunt double is you're all creating this character together. Mm -hmm. So you really need right. partners. It's not just that oh that someone can now step in and someone can do this stunt move. It's about, you can still portray the character, portray mm -hmm. the emotion, especially on a show like Buffy where so much of the fight sequence was a manifestation of emotion. And so you need mm -hmm. stunt performers that are performers. And so for me, I always credit the character of Buffy, not just to me, but to both of these two, because that character was a culmination of all three of us. I love to fight. I love fight scenes and I love breaking things. I'm very vocal. I love to get into it. The first time I got to go through glass was like heaven. It felt so wrong and so right at the same time. Especially on Buffy, we had a lot of fights. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. I can tell yeah, you yeah. what her least favorite part of working on Buffy was. At one point when there was when there was Buffy and then the one was taking her place, sometimes they also had to literally double me on yeah. camera and somebody had to kiss David Boreanaz. And, oh, yeah, 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 yes. Oh, Oh my God, I thought it was you. No. I was standing with David Boreanaz, and then the director comes over and she's like, okay, you know, when your lips meet or something like that, and I'm like, what? <laughs> and Sarah was off to the side as the one. Oh, oh, I was I laughing. Oh my so, yeah, God. I was dying. But he was very nice, and it was, it was okay. <laughs> I don't think you can say that it's any one individual's work in particular that's why it resonates. I think it was the show as a mm -hmm. whole. It was mm -hmm. a cultural moment. It was something that everyone had experienced. It was the first time, I think there was genre shows before, but no one had really used the genre as a manifestation of the horrors of adolescence, mm -hmm. of growing up, of your first love. And I think it was the first time you really saw those two worlds together. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's what makes it so powerful and makes it relevant and makes it meaningful to generations that keep coming because everybody has a first love, right. a first yeah. loss, right, a right, first right, parent right. that they've lost, right. or someone that's really, really mean to them and you just wish you could beat them up. She got to do it. <laughs>